Welcome once again in our top story. The first day of uh, the Mega Aero India show concluded with displaying some indigenous aircraft. Republic, while reporting from Ground Zero, brings you the eye catchers on the first day of the event. Take a look at this exclusive report. We are here at uh, the Aero India 2023 and uh, right behind me is this uh, lean mean war machine uh, fighter aircraft uh, which is uh, the Gripen uh, and uh, it is uh, out here on uh, display with uh, helmet mounted uh, cockpit uh, apart from which uh, it has uh, surface uh, which it has uh, air to surface missiles air to air uh, missiles as uh, well and uh, some of the missiles uh, which are uh, out uh, here on uh, display uh, which has uh, been uh, done by the Saab uh, uh, one of the missiles uh, that we are speaking is about uh, the Meteor, which is an inert missile, which is uh, mainly active for radar sensing. And after which uh, Asram, uh, one of uh, the most, uh, it is it is uh, the jewel of uh, Saab as well, uh, because uh, this is uh, something uh, which uh, will uh, dominate uh, within the visual range, uh, that is uh, the WVR combat, uh, combined with uh, Gripen's uh, advanced uh, sensor suit, as well as uh, the Asram, significantly going on and showcasing the outstanding self-production with first shot, first kill capability. And uh, we also have the Derby ER as well, which is a multi-range uh, missile. Uh, we also have uh, the Iris T, and apart from that, uh, the RBS uh, 15 uh, uh, Gangner 2, which uh, you know, which uh, the Saab uh, highly speaks uh, about, uh, which is an anti-ship uh, missile uh, with uh, robust uh, all-weather uh, operation too. And uh, also now, uh, if you're looking at uh, you know, if you if you're looking at uh, the assembly over here, you're also going on and uh, taking a look at uh, the Taurus KAPD uh, 352. Uh, which is, uh, you know, which is uh, the modular system uh, architecture of uh, the Griffin and uh, the dual stage area, uh, area p penetrator warhead, uh, uh, Mephisto 2 is there. Uh, so all said and done, uh, this is uh, one of, uh, you know, the biggest machines uh, which uh, Saab has uh, put on display as well because uh, data is the key in, uh, in, in air combat and uh, the sort of sensors that they have uh, put in on this uh, war machine uh, plays a very key and significant role and it also has a salient feature of of a helmet mounted display that is something which sets it apart from its competitors in the same league as well so hlft 42 essentially is a aircraft which is a lead in fighter trainer okay, uh, lead in fighter trainers are uh, required for training of uh, tr young fighter pilots on uh, on features of modern combat aircraft, for instance, when uh, originally the MIG operational flying training unit and uh, Hunter operational flying training unit was set up. The idea is to induct this aeroplane as a trainer which will teach you large force engagement, mm -hmm. air-to-air refueling, cruise missiles. Okay. Okay. And so this has even air-to-air fueling capabilities. Well. Yes, okay. and it has got BVR capability. Uh -huh. Now, BVR combat is very sensitive to kinetic performance. Okay. So this aircraft will be a it'll be a high supersonic and a high kinetic performance aeroplane. The Indian government has been focusing on uh, Atmanirbharta and uh, the Hindustan Aeronautic Limited uh, has uh, come up uh, with uh, choppers of many categories and uh, one such uh, chopper right in front of us uh, is a light utility helicopter which is uh, here which has been designed and manufactured uh, by the HAL going on to provide a huge boost uh, for India in uh, the Air Force sector as well and uh, going ahead and uh, looking at uh, the cabin now uh, uh, but you know this is this is basically a two seater uh, chopper uh, for the pilots as well and uh, also going ahead and looking at it uh, this uh, has a hydraulic uh, control meaning to state uh, that uh, the control uh, is uh, very easy uh, for the pilots uh, to go on and maneuver as well and uh, these uh, types of uh, choppers are uh, used uh, in uh, recon missions uh, evacuation missions as well so this is a multi-utility chopper too and uh, also even if uh, you fill around 6,000 kgs of uh, fuel uh, this can uh, go around and uh, maneuver uh, for uh, over uh, three and a half hours uh, to four hours uh, and uh, in situations uh, where it is an emergency and they cannot land. Uh 
right now we are in front of the F-18 uh, Super Hornets. Uh, and uh, before I just uh, take you across and uh, have a word uh, with uh, the U.S. Uh, Air Force personnel as well, you can just uh, go ahead and uh, take a look uh, at this uh, huge uh, beast uh, of a machine uh, here, uh, which is uh, being uh, known for its uh, capabilities and also being uh, used uh, by the U.S. Uh, Navy as well. And uh, we also get to understand that uh, this has also been variants of uh, the Super Hornet, uh, you know, called as the Rhino has also been. Uh, could you just, uh, you know, speak to us about uh, the salient features of it and also the special abilities uh, of this uh, fighter aircraft here? Yeah, absolutely. It is a, a beast. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Aaron Veneta. I'm from the U.S. Navy. And we brought these aircraft to uh, place them as a static demonstration here for Aero India. Uh, we're looking to show uh, some of the capabilities of our aircraft uh, as India is interested in purchasing uh, the F-18 in uh, some discussions right now. Yeah, absolutely. So the engines are uh, General Electric F414-400. Uh, they're very powerful engines, but they're also extremely uh, survivable engines. So they are uh, um, able to operate uh, with uh, minimal maintenance for a long number of hours, which is a great feature for a naval fighter. Multi-fighter aircraft, which can also go on supply uh, fuel uh, to the other uh, light uh, combat aircraft as well. With video journalist Bhagat Prajwal Prasad reporting for Republic Bengaluru.